Hi everyone, welcome to the Python tutorial for computational chemistry. Today we will continue learning the different data structure types of Python and we will go over tuples which are very similar to the data structure type list that we learned in the previous video. But the main difference is that tuples are immutable. And I mean by immutable in programming means that once it's created, it cannot be changed. You cannot apply what we learned in the previous video by appending or extending, adding or removing values to tuples. So it's quite similar to string, so you cannot change it. It's fixed. Okay. And one more difference is in lists, you had your data separating by commas and enclosed in square brackets. But in Python here, uh, sorry, in tuples here, the data are enclosed in parentheses, which is even optional. So if I run it, in Python, let's see what will happen. So it accepted as tuple. And also you can create similar to this, you can create some empty tuples by just keeping your parentheses empty. And also you can create a tuple from form it from a single element, but don't forget to add a single comma after it. Okay, so let's run it. Okay, so accessing values in tuples is the same as lists. So you just use what we learned in the previous video. For example, if I want to access the first element in tube number two, so just I will say print tuple two and just I will index two to zero. So let's see what will happen. Okay, so it's physics because I wrote tuple number one. Okay, so if I, if I want to make it tube two, it will give me one. And you can do what we learned in the previous video by just using the minus one. So it will give me the last element in my tuple. Or you can use the indexing from zero to two. So this will give me one and two. Okay. So it's very similar to 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 less. So the question that we could could arise here so if we have lists why we are interested to have tuples which are fixed the point is since they are fixed python can do some optimization to decrease the size the size of the tuples is always uh, less than the size of list and you may say oh we don't care about the size too much because the list is very short here or the tuple is very short here but when you are dealing with a, with a list or tuple with the, with the millions of variables, this will create a difference. So the, the different the difference in, in megabytes or bytes will add up. So you you really need some optimization to use to use tuples to have a smaller smaller size. So to understand this, let's import a module called sys. Okay, and then this module have uh, a nice function built-in function called get of size so if you want to know the difference the, the different uh, functions installed or built in in a module you know in a module just just print directly and the name of your module okay so you have many functions here and what i'm interested in is get get size of so this will get you the size of your list or the size of your of your tuple so let's re learn how to to use it. So if I write print help from this module module just get me get size get size of. Okay? So this will tell you that this function returns the size of of object in the list. So let's use the size to clarify the difference between the size of a list and the size of of a tuple to get sure that really the the tuples are smaller in size uh, than lists. So let's create a list called L, as we learned in the previous video, and let's make it like whatever say okay. So this is I will just take it, copy it because I want to create exactly the same tuple that we can compare them and call it t and equal sorry i have different keyboard language so i got confused between them okay and i will paste so now we have a list and tuples and run it 
invalid syntax here because here I have two commas. Sorry for this. I have two commas here, you know, it's very fast. Okay. Okay, so now we have a list and tuple. And then we we need to know the size of of each of them. So I will ask Python to print print what to print me L size is and then we can ask this model to get me the, sh the the function get size of my L and let's do the same print print what the same T size I forgot the E here T size is and then we use the same function in the module get size of my t and let's run it so you see the difference the list size is 112 and the tuple size is just 96 and as i said this is a very short list or very short tuple so imagine if you have a million of numbers here so how 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 big will be the list or how bigger the list will be than your tuple okay this is the main difference between list and tuples and we can also do some operations on on, on tuples very simple that we can have fun with, with this so if I have a if I have a tuple called high then you can you can sorry multiply it by five and let's see what happens so to write to you high 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 or you can get the length of your tuple Let's say I have one, two, four, and then I will run. So I have three. And then you can get the membership of your tuple. You say three is a member in my tuple or not. So let's try one, two, four, five. It will tell you that it is not a member. So this, this is a quick introduction to tuples. And then we learned what, what are tuples and why we need it and how to access the values in it and why do we need tuples and this is very important now we clarified that the size would be very big in list compared to tuples that's it and see you in the next video